due to the constant demand for improvements in braking performance, vehicle manufacturers are making use of directional brake pads in more and more of their car models. If directional brake pads are fitted incorrectly, you may experience brake noise and uneven or excessive brake pad wear. In general, there are two directional methods to help reduce brake noise. They are chamfers on the frictional layer of the brake pad, a cutout from the noise reduction shim on the backing plate of the brake pad. Both of these help to introduce the brake pad to the disc at an angle which will avoid brake noise. Most of the directional pads are equipped with an arrow to indicate the rotational direction of the brake disc or a letter to indicate which side of the car to fit the brake pad. When fitting the brake pads, make sure the arrow points in the same direction as the wheels are turning during driving. When the letter R is used, the brake pad should be fitted to the right-hand side. When an L is used, fit to the left-hand side. In case the brake pads are equipped with chamfer and no arrow or letter indication is given, the chamfer needs to be presented at the leading edge where the pad first contacts the brake disc. Where one side has a bigger chamfer, the side with the bigger chamfer needs to be presented at the leading edge where the pad first contacts the brake disc. Where the brake pad has a crescent or half moon cutout from the noise reduction shim and no arrow or letter is visible, the crescent or half moon needs to be presented at the leading edge where the pad first contacts the brake disc. Make sure you come back to Garage Guru's CSI to see how we explain more warranty claims. We are Garage Gurus. Join our community, follow us on social media. Thanks for watching this video. The video description contains all the relevant links. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and be notified when we post new content. Also, check out our Garage Gurus online course catalog.